Hey guys, today we are going to be completing our truss bridge design using the side view that you have already created last class. Now to get started, the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that the side view is all one component. So when I select the side view, notice how only half of it gets selected. So to make it all one thing, I wanted to highlight the whole side view, right click, click make a component, and I want to name this side view. And I'm going to click OK. Now that our side view is all one component, the next thing I want to do is I want to make it so that the side view is rotated up 90 degrees so it's sitting upright, just like you would see it on a bridge. So I'm going to highlight the side view. I'm going to rotate my screen so that you can see the edge of that side view. And then I'm going to grab the rotate tool. And I want to hover the rotate tool along the edge of that side view so that it is the color red. All right, so I'm going to click on, this, on the edge of the side view. And then I'm going to come off to the side and make sure that that dashed line is green. I'm going to click again. And then I'm going to rotate up 90 degrees and click again. All right, so now what we've done is we've taken the side view and we've rotated up 90 degrees so it is sitting upright. All right, let me get this back onto the center of our screen. The next thing I want to do is I want to create cross members that are, going to connect, that are going to connect both side views at both the top and the bottom of the bridge. Now the cross members are going to be connected in every spot that there, are, there is a vertical support along our side view. All right, so let's get started with that. I want to grab my rectangle tool and I'm going to zoom in here in the bottom left hand corner. We'll do all the bottom cross members first in this bottom left hand corner. All right, I'm going to draw a rectangle from this corner all the way down to the corner of our bridge. And then I'm going to push pull this out two inches. All right, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see. All right, so there's our first cross member. We want, to we want to duplicate this cross member so that we can have one at the bottom of each one of these vertical supports. And to do that, I'm going to select the entire cross member, making sure that I'm clicking and coming up in the, from right to left so that the whole thing is selected. If I go from the right, from the left side to the right, notice how it only selects part of the cross member. So again, we want to go from right to left, just making sure that we're only selecting the cross member. I'm not going up and selecting anything else. All right, notice how um, the whole side view gets selected. I want to just select just the cross member. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the move tool. I'm going to hit control. So that way I'm duplicating it. And I want to select that cross member from this top left corner. Grab the move tool, not the rotate tool. Click control so it's duplicating from the top left corner. All right, and what that allows us to do is it allows us to move it and place it in the exact spot below that vertical support in the exact spot that we want it to be. All right, and I'm going to continue to repeat this process until I have all five cross members going across the bottom of that side view. Again, making sure that I'm hitting control to duplicate it every time, grabbing from the top left corner and placing it right where I want it for each one. All right, and there we go. All right, so we have all five cross members, all right, connected, all right, to the bottom of our side view. The next thing we want to do is we want to get five more right above the top. All right, so we're going to follow the same exact process. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool. And I'm going to draw a rectangle from here up to the top corner. I'm going to push pull this out two inches. All right. And we're going to do the same thing. Let me kind of move this so that we can view the cross member. All right. So I'm going to grab the move or grab my selection tool. I want to go again from the right to the left, only selecting that cross member, but this time I'm going to rotate it and I want to select from the bottom of that cross member. So I'm going to grab the move tool, 
I'm going to click Control so I duplicate. And I want to go from this bottom left-hand corner, and I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag across so that it lines up perfectly with the vertical support on our side view. And then again, I'm going to continue to follow the same process. All right, so that we get all five cross members across the top of our bridge. All right, so now that we got all cross members, all right, at both the bottom and the top of our bridge, the only thing we have left to do is to duplicate our side view and place it on the opposite side of the bridge. So to do that, we're gonna select our side view. We're gonna click move. And then we're gonna hit control so that we duplicate. And we wanna be very careful about which, which point in which in the side view we wanna select. All right, I wanna click the farthest point out. So I'm gonna click this one. I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag it and I'm gonna select the edge of the cross member and we are all set. All right, so now that we have both side views, we have our cross members going um, at the top and the bottom of our bridge, we are all set.